Fluorescence is another very interesting property that certain minerals possess. You can see here I have an array of a number of different mineral samples. I also have an ultraviolet light source. This particular multi-wavelength mineral light gives off ultraviolet in 254 and 366 nanometer range. If we look at this side, we can see that there's long wavelength ultraviolet and short wavelength ultraviolet. Now, looking at this visually, these lights appear very, very dark purple, but the camera interprets that light as a deep blue. Let's take a look at what the minerals look like when exposed to the ultraviolet light. Watch what happens when I turn down the white light. These minerals absorb the high energy short wavelength light and re-emit the energy in a longer visible wavelength. Some minerals fluoresce more intensely under the short wavelength, such as this geode that I picked up in the deserts in Utah. You can see under the long wavelength it does not fluoresce green, but under the short wavelength it fluoresces bright green. Similarly, this scaprolite under the short wavelength does not glow as intensely as it does under the long wavelength light. Similar to fluorescence, there's another unique property called phosphorescence. This sample here is phosphorescent. Watch what happens when I turn off the ultraviolet light. You can see that the other minerals quit glowing immediately, but this sample continued to emit light some period of time after I turned off the ultraviolet source. So let's just recap the process of fluorescence. On the left, you can see my ultraviolet light source. When I turn it on, ultraviolet light causes the mineral crystal to glow. The ultraviolet light is a short wavelength or high energy form of light. This high energy radiation is absorbed by the atoms and molecules in the mineral crystal. That absorbed energy is then re-released as a visible wavelength of light. In many cases, we see it emitted as green. Again, it's very interesting to compare the vivid and brilliant colors the minerals are giving off when exposed to ultraviolet light compared to what they look like under white light. Now for a quick side note about fluorescence. Besides teaching science, some of you know I'm an artist. My specialty is making porcelains with crystalline glaze. I create a vase out of clay and then fire it and grow mineral crystals in the liquid glass at above 2000 degrees. Here you can see some of the mineral crystals. These crystals are the same as the naturally occurring mineral willemite, such as in this sample here. These minerals, when exposed to ultraviolet light, will glow. Let's take a look at what happens when I turn down the white light. And once again, we can see the mineral crystals emitting visible light when exposed to the high energy ultraviolet light.